Hello there. So Midjourney just announced the one of the big addition actually to the system. And it is allowed to render specifically anime style. So if we look on announcement, you can say, see right here, they have it released brand new anime model, which is included. And you can access by using a suffix the Niji, which is actually going as a rainbow or 2D in Japanese. And this is a, supposed to work a great anime style for us or cartoonish kind of style. So what I want to do, I want to go test this and uh, Discord, what we're going to do with a mid journey versus local installation of stable diffusion with our uh, anything, which is a uh, anime model for the stable diffusion. And we'll go and compare how both of them work together, how well they're comparable or what is different. So let's go ahead and start doing this. So some tests already tried. <laughs> of course, when I saw this, I need to play with that, okay? And I want to go show you something good that I started and something we're going to do together during the video. So here's the first, what I tried to do. It says, beautiful girl in a Victorian dress, lay down on a field with wind, move her hair, leaves flowing around, top down view. And this is just normal version four without any other stuff. And you can see, yes, it is have some illustration effect. It's not total photorealistic. For this, I need to add what photorealistic, but it is nice, beautiful look. So the next, I done exactly the same, only I add anime style. So I don't add the Niji uh, tag for this. So we'll just go ahead, anime style, and we can look, it does apply somewhat anime style. Nice looking, actually, it can work very easy as anime style. And right here, this is with a Niji. Uh, tag. It's a, definitely, you can see the different. Some is a little bit more stylization, some less stylization, but it does look a little bit different. It's a mix with this. So let's see what's happened with stable diffusion. Right here, I run stable diffusion, anything version 3.0, which allowed us to create anime. Exactly the same string, pass it in. I use it uh, 20 steps, it can pop up to 50, probably to match a little bit better, but point is right here, you can see what is that produced for us. So it does produce actual coloring a little bit Victorian steampunk, shall say, very uh, wash out black color. But right here, you can see we have this image. It's not necessarily produced as well, but it is in very much in anime style. So let's go next. We're going and try to do this bunny knight in shiny armor, fighting fire breathing dragons. And of course, this is our anime style. And what is that? Did he just roasting another bunny dragon? Okay, that is not what I actually was attend, but it's definitely somebody cooking bunny there. Okay, so this is our, if you just type anime style right there, which is actually not necessary anime style, but this is reason uh, this string I was using because it's hard to reference. You know, if we type in, definitely if we just go and can type imagine, okay. Um, Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan. Okay, it's Super Saiyan. And it does help when you actually can spell properly. So I go spell say ay, ay, wrong. Come on, right here. Super Saiyan, Dragon Ball Z. Let's go add like right there. Yeah. Capital, there you go. Let's copy this one. Okay, actually before press, let me go see what done here. And this is actually what unstable diffusion. It's our body drag. Actually, that is right here. I can see these, not the ears, right here ears. Yeah, that is a bi bunny and a dragon. So actually stable diffusion model perform better with this mixing than actually Discord or that, uh, the our mid journey because this is what mid journey give it on the same strings and versus what is a stable diffusion with the anime give it to us um baby bunny fighting dragon uh, fire breathing so you can see all of this here actually they perform better than this okay so let's go back 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 now to our dragon ball z super saiyan so that is seems like good let me go copy this okay and we're going to do first normal Okay, let's go next. We'll do this with a photorealistic tag. Okay, we'll do the same one. 
Oh, Dragon Ball Z, Super Saiyan. Okay, with the anime style. Okay. And we'll do same with the Niji tag. So we'll try this and same ways. So let's go back here. We'll paste here. Let's set our steps about 50 steps for batch. Okay, and let's go generate. Okay, I'm assuming this won't have a big problem because it's a huge library to address, to reference images. The hard bar will be when you address something that does not yet exist. Okay, let's start with the stable diffusion because it's already done. Um, we'll go preview and you can see right here we have it our, uh, well, it is Goku. It's uh, um, definitely a Super Saiyan with a glowing hair. So it does actually properly created even in two of them. I did not specify one or two, but here's our preview. So it's worked very well. Let's go now in our mid journey and we look this one first, just simple Dragon Ball Z, which actually I do like a little bit better in mid journey. Look on this. It is not a flood because if we look right here. This is very just flat. It's keep to original, but this one have it more depth. I do like from artistic point, you know, from look, I think this one is look very cool one when he's standing, you know, to the point I'm going to render this bigger size. I like how it's look. Okay, same. It's a hair. Everything look nice. So now let's go look on a photorealistic and it does add a little bit more photorealism. Right here we have a little bit better hair. So it actually create quite a bit nice. Again, very nice modeling. So right here is our anime style. And yes, we put it three, but again, same hair. Nice production. Okay, very well. And let's go check now two. Niji, and that is a little bit different. It definitely uses more neons, different coloring. Um, I don't know, you know, it's this one is a little bit, it's not bad either. And but this one here definitely stand different styles, you know, probably need to play more, but I do like coloring maybe better on the Niji style as well. However, the this one just straightforward. I do like how that one come up very nice. The other things also what I noticed, let's count one, two, three, four. It's correct amount of fingers right here. One, two, three, four, kind of four. This is three. Okay. So fingers about same amount. And right here we have it. No fingers. So yeah, they're hiding away and in original. Oh yeah, we have a little bit probably right there. It's just not even fingers. This is just like a mesh something. Okay, so there actually I think a little bit better on the limbs. We maybe try to do this better and see what's going on. Oh, by the way, what does this one come up? This is my bunny. Oh, I like this bunny. This is just a normal straightforward bunny fighting dragon. Well, with anime, no anime style. It's look actually very nice and cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and try other things and what I want to do it is let's do cyberpunk girl okay so let's go cyberpunk city okay neon lights wires on the ground I'm just describing right now what we have it and you know if I spell properly it's always help we had ground large TVs dark, uh, maybe haze, rain. Okay, so this description and before actually I want to put it this um, cerebral girl in the raincoat. Let's go raincoat here. With umbrella standing alone on the street under street light there you go how about this okay let uh, go magic continue so i can sp sp properly spelling going around right here there you go we have a cyber girl and a raincoat with umbrella standing alone on the street with neon lights okay there you go i'm just a uh, try by the way if you're interested this is i love this this is actually a uh, grammarly plugin is add to your browser and allowed you to fix your english and it's very important for me 
So I'm going right here, copy this. So let's go ahead and start generating that one. And we can go inside our mid journey and let's do this as well. So we go imagine. First we do as usual without anything. Let's go imagine with a tag, maybe photorealistic. Okay, we'll go next, imagine, and let's go do with a anime style. Okay, and we'll do another one, imagine, same things, only with a dash dash, Niji. Okay, I think it's Niji, perhaps. I may be wrong. Okay, so we'll try all of these four different styles in a mid journey. And we can go back now, I think stable diffusion is ready or done. And right here we can see, okay, it's kind of reading anime style. Some, of course, uh, maybe does not work properly, but I think it's okay. Let me do a couple things change. So I will add about 11-ish. I think it's what going with CFG scale enemy journey. And I think that is about right. Let me re-render re again. And I think this one is kind of start coming on a mid journey so we can compare well one is done and this is just a normal when i press it so that is our i do like mid journey style you know it definitely does way better job in some cases but right here this is our standard mid journey will render this way so it does going with the rain wet streets we have it led neon punk we have umbrellas in couple areas rain coat so it's kind of gone with this um this next one it is was with a anime style okay let's go look on anime style and it's kind of closer because i think they have it share similar library in a mid journey but again it's nice we don't have an umbrella we lost our umbrella here but i do like this one kind of look very nice again single it's going with subject single girl staying in the rain cyberpunk all this stuff so it does work actually come up good okay here's another one and this one with niji style okay so let's go ahead and check and this actually very close except street i think maybe street look a little bit better on the details if we look right there this is add borders so we need to add no borders but overall i think details a little bit better on the city versus so right here is our city and you can see a little bit messy kind of not necessary detailization right here streets i like a little bit better on this so you know what um and we have it we have the normal in a rain we have it one done with a photorealistic so this is our photorealistic one we done one with anime style so this is our anime style and actual anime style in some case if you look it's look somewhat closer to niji except the car messing right here but this street look nice and this one look so let's go and try without characters um and before we run let's go back to our stability fusion this is when i render yeah, definitely the mid journey does way better job in this case. Okay, and we'll go to imagine cyberpunk city. We'll just have it very simplicity. We'll see what it's come up with. And we'll go to ER, two by three. We'll go portrait type and we'll go to Niji style. So let's see this one. And we'll go now to stable diffusion and let's go put it right here city did i put it city there let me check because i'm forgetting cyberpunk city yep exactly the same so we'll go right there 50 all the stuff let's go generate now okay and it's come up very nice you know what i noticed i was actually on earlier let me go switch to ddim that probably will be a little bit more fair because it's what actually this engine was designed to work with ddim and you know as it's doing let me go in the settings and i want to be sure also that is set properly okay so the settings is properly and we can look actually it's very similar it's not that big different just maybe a little bit details i don't think that is too much different but right here we have it city cyberpunk city a little bit more details it definitely have it way more details on this image and you know what let me go ahead and just upscale all of them so we can have it a little bit better details and what I want to do is go back to this cyber girl. Let's go copy this one, going to stable diffusion. And actually I'm going paste there and be sure I'm on the DDIM um, set and we'll go render that one. Okay, I think there is a done and let's look what we have here. Oh, it's, 
this let's preload it there you go okay i like the details actually a little bit better details i think with a tug producing so yeah definitely way more details and small apply so this is kind of nice to doing this one and another stable diffusion now it's same result so it's a little bit better but it's but I do like how this pickup um, umbrellas put everywhere. So it does actually have a weight system on the details a little bit better versus the in a disc in the mid journey. Sometimes it was a lost some of the details, but this one is definitely nice. So let's do a couple more things. And um, I'm going to actually using prompt hero to see some anime stuff there. And we're just going add tag G and we'll try to render some of the anime kind of preset again this one right now this is not mine at all what I done with this I'm just going like to the prompt hero and from prompt here we just can go and select some of this what people done directly to anime and see how that will perform most of them if you look they're actually done in a mid journey right here it's kind of a giveaway if you can see w so we can also kind of copy i think this is when i done already somewhat but we have it also all this different type anime that people try it so we can preload and try it and see how it's work also we can go on a search engine and just type anime and try find that way but this is help us to give it ideas and let's look right there oh it's definitely better yeah, that one is look way, way cleaner and nicer. So overall, here is a new tag that you can use it, Niji. And this has allowed us to create a new model with anime model. And they're obviously they say, hey, it's always brand new. So it's spell brush thanks to Niji in a mid journey. So here's another thing. It's cool that before you can do just a, in a stable diffusion on your local installation you can run the model with anime but right now it's available on the mid journey so hopefully you have a fun time go try it play around and i'm definitely will go create some different cool um renders with this thank you for watching have a great day and enjoy this new new edition